everyone. In this video I want to talk about Wiglot for Shopify and basically the app that can help you to translate your Shopify store in an easy way and faster way and a way that you don't have to really worry about the translation. Then the option is Wiglot. I'm not a really big fan of Shopify but I have set up myself just a Shopify store to showcase a store product. And since in my own pro, uh, store, we have sometimes international visitors, mainly from the US here in Mexico. Of course, there, it's helpful for SEO or for just like any visitors user experience to have the website done in English. So for Shopify, there are like very few options or really good options for translations. There is Translation Lab and there is another um, translation apps that actually I tried those and I was not really convinced and since tested out the different apps that they are for Shopify well I just went out for Wiglot. Wiglot it's really easy to install and I will show later up on the video the small walkthrough and how it works and basically that's the good thing about Wiglot that it's really easy to install and it's really intuitive so you don't really have to worry that much about the part of the translations. The negative side that I've seen, but this is more of the Shopify part, since it, it is a very rigid structure, um, you're not really easy to handle the small things or important things such as the SEO, because for international SEO, uh, subdomains, they, Google or any other uh, indexation uh, like Bing or any other, they will treat the subdomain, for example, en.example.com, it will be for the English and example.com will be, let's say, the Spanish version or ES, how you want to manage. And it is not really recommended since it will be treated as two different websites or it will barely affect a little bit on the SEO and it's already recommended by most rank and any other uh, more SEO experts. So that's a negative side, but this is more of a part of the Shopify rigid structure. Um, but taking more about the advantages and disadvantages of Wiglot, well, I already mentioned, um, the main advantage of Wiglot is uh, how fast it is to translate and how accurate is the translation and I will show later that you don't really have to worry about that uh, small details or the grammar. So that's one big advantage if you're a small team or if you don't have the team of translators, then you just can lay down that work to Wiglot and you will keep working on what it matters, that it's selling on your store and in selling internationally on your store. And talking about that disadvantage of Wiglot, well, the things that I really don't enjoy it, but I haven't liked that much is that word count and that number of language limit. How this can affect your website or so on? Well, if your Shopify store has lots of text and if you're aiming for more than three languages, then you might probably reach this word count easily. So that means that you will have to jump to a higher plan and for it, you will have to spend more. So if you have a big budget or you have enough budget to to jump to different plans and you see that your store is growing then it will worth the option of, of scaling up your your week lot since it is a translation as a service well they just they have like this charge or plans that it are set by the word counts but if you have like a blog uh, on your Shopify store that has plenty of content and if plus the description of your products on the long term or in the long run this can get like a cost to be considered and also yes I mentioned also the languages because I would recommend it to use it only if you're aiming like maximum two languages even if you can use a three or four or five I think the pro plan is up to five languages but the thing is if you have the five languages and if you have like I don't know, let's say the 500 uh, words per page times five, then you will reach, for example, the 50,000 words or 100,000 words is the, the plan. 
So that's another thing to consider. So I would recommend you to either stay below the two, two number two of languages, if you're like on a mid budget or more like uh, controlling your costs. So to be considered also a thing. And in the following part of the video, I will show you uh, a small walkthrough of how it works, Shopify and Wiglot. And thanks for watching. Hello everyone. In this part of the video, I want to show you how Wiglot works in combination with Shopify. Basically, I can this I have this website. Actually, this is my business website. I have a furniture store where I showcase products, but sometimes I get some international customers. Of course, it's obviously if you live in the border with the US, you sometimes need English and also, of course, Spanish. So to do the multilingual store here in Shopify, basically one option is Wiglot. Have already tested out different options and different apps and Wiglot has been the best one that I have found. It's the best option so far. So basically here we just installed the widget and you can test out Wiglot for 10 days. You can sign up if you already have an account or just give up your information to sign in. So going here a little bit back to give the name of the project, you can give the name that you want. So here I just was just write Wiglot English and then we save. You can here choose the language that you want, the one that you're aiming for. And for this case, of course, I will use English. We go to the settings page and we can just see here the first part of, and we must be aware of using Shopify is that the international sale, it's different as in WordPress. In Shopify, actually, I don't really enjoy it that much because it's more structured when it comes to international sale and it's not that really flexible. So you will have to activate the subdomains. So we go here to the subdomain, we enable it, and then you will be asked to do the setup. And here you will write the name and then we'll have to go to add the DNS records to add this C name. And basically we go here to our domain register, we will add the C name EN in the case of English, and we will point to websites Wiglot. It will take a little bit of time to update. Please be patient. Okay. And once it's done, you will see that the setup will be running in the Wiglot part. If you don't have the app, but we already did that part. So if you need it, you can direct copy paste the code to the edit code area of the Shopify and the theme liquid. We will go back here to the dashboard. We will update it. And we can see that the English subdomain is running and starting. And we can go now to the Wiglot dashboard. And we can see here, watch how it works and how it looks the back end. You can also try it out with your free tests. The difference is that here you will see your work count and your plan, the word of Nimitz, and you can click out here to change the plan. But this is the thing that I don't like about Wiglot this is the word count. Yes, of course it's that's business, but Please be considered and be aware of the number of languages and the word count. So if you have lots of contents, you might reach pretty soon. And also be aware of the changes of the prices. So 
the thing that I recommend is to keep it on the lower area of at least three languages because otherwise if you have like 1,000 words by page and you could reach really soon the work on limit. So going back here, we will go to the translations. We'll see here that I have it here Spanish to English. You will probably see it here or the one that you have in your dashboard. And we have see here the management of the translations. So I'm already translated, so it was really fast. So if you need to make some changes, you can just go directly here and make the changes. Let's change here to drawer, for example. And if you want to keep moving on, you just can keep watching the rest of the content that it's already translated. If you want to set a rule, of a word and a specific name of the business that you want to be translated to just keep it up here in the glossary and then that will be it. We'll update and then we will see that it will never be translated. Here in the URLs to scan your website. This will help out so that Wiglot can start crawling and scanning your website. So just give it a little bit of time. Okay, we add. And then we can just see all the rest of the translation pages that can be already set up. We can synchronize the content to make a faster translation. And here we're already set up. If you need to be the translation from the front end, we can just click here. We can set up the Spanish to English and we already have seen here the, the rule that we set up. If we need some more changes, then we just go here. Also, if you need to translate a metadata, That's the good thing about Wiglot, that it's fast and it's actually really accurate translation. If you need some professional translation, you can just pay around 13 cents of euro per word for statistics. And also here in the settings, if you make some changes or activate the auto switch, this will help you on automatic redirections and also depending on the browser language of the user. Here we are the type of website that we have. Here in the language switcher, if we want to display the language name, the full language name, or the, either the flags, or if we want to change the, the type and the custom CSS. Here we can exclude URLs. The setup, we already saw it. You can get the API keys, JavaScript code. In the Shopify settings, if you need to do some CSS changes. Or if you have a team who can help you with the translation, you can set it up also with bigger plans. So we update here and we can see down here the translation language switcher. If we click out here and then we see up here that the subdomain is already set up. But let's say that we want to change from down here to up here the language switcher. So we will have to do a little bit of code. So if you're not a developer, this might take a little bit of time, but it's if you follow these instructions, then it was really easy to set up. I will leave the in, in the description the, the link to this page so that you can add this code. So you will copy this code 
and then you will have to go back to themes action edit code and we got switcher so here in the shopify we'll go to the online store and we will go to edit code yes of course i have it in spanish but still it's the same structure and we will search for wiglot language switcher we will eliminate or delete this area and we will save and i want to show you that feature so we click here and then we will get the name so we will, can search for and let's say that this is the one that we where we want to add the language switcher so we will see here the class we'll copy and then we will have to paste it out we will save and we update and voila it's up here we have the language switcher and to show you we will go here to the wiglot blog to check out the wiglot i have it in spanish but now i want to change it to english we can see here on doubly one of the best brands of appliance but in the article we will focus already on the refrigerator so actually the translation is really accurate it's not really weird as in other type of translations. So if you're also aiming for any other language like Spanish, German, French, or any other Wiglots languages, then you must have in consideration the use of Wiglot as your translation app. So I hope that this part of the video helped you to learn more about Wiglot and Shopify. Thanks for watching. <laughs>